Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, so excited to share this youth pastor conversation with you. Uh, I've got my friend here, Steve Kerr, who is at Faith Promise, uh, been a youth pastor there. He's been a youth pastor for a while, but uh, he's been at Faith Promise for a couple of years. Uh, started in a great, perfect time to start, December of 2019. If you guys know what that date means, uh, he just got his feet wet a little bit right before the pandemic. So he's been leading through all of that. Uh, but today we've got a great conversation about summer internships. So taking students, getting them plugged in at a pretty high level, deep level during the summer months. So man, thanks for joining us. Uh, go ahead yeah. and share away. Yeah, thanks, Ryan. Hey, so privileged and humbled uh, for to be part of the podcast, man. Really appreciate it. You're doing amazing things. Um, yeah, just a little bit about uh, me and, and where I'm at here at Faith Promise. So I'm actually from the Midwest, Metro Detroit. Uh, was up there serving for 15 years, the better part of 15 years, and then have moved down here to Knoxville, like Ryan said, in 2019. Multi-site church. We actually have seven campuses um, across the state of Tennessee uh, and a campus in Costa Rica as well, which I'll be heading there this summer uh, to do some training with the student pastors that are super excited about it. Um, I currently lead at what we call our production campus. And so fairly large student group. Uh, we have currently two other full-time student pastors and we actually just hire a third. We'll be bringing him in in the beginning of August. Super excited about that. But man, we're yeah, summer internship has kicked off. It's going. It's amazing. Um, we uh, at Faith Promise, it's something that over the last three years we've continued to retool and to be super intentional with. You know, we really believe that if if we're going to be kingdom minded, if we're going to continue to grow and be kingdom minded, have a kingdom impact, then it's about winning our world, right? It's about equipping students to own their gifting and own the ministry in their life every single day. So. Bro, I would love to share some details with you, um, if that's okay. You good with that? Jump all right, on man, in, man. Keep going. So, all right. So here's here's the deal. We have again seven locations. Every uh, student ministry has the opportunity to uh, can advertise uh, student internship. It's an eight week commitment for students who have completed eighth grade, are moving into ninth grade and or have graduated their senior year. So we have some students that are moving into college, um, that next stage of life, and uh, they're part of the team. So globally, um, which would mean all of our campuses collectively, um, we meet uh, once a week, uh, all the uh, interns together on Tuesday morning. Now before that Tuesday, every student intern shows up at their campus on Monday to begin their week with their campus. So at the Pellissippi campus, my campus, again, the production campus that I'm at, we currently have in student ministry 12 interns participating um, this year. And it's an awesome group of ragamuffins, man. We have every type of teenager you could think of. And it's already just super, super engaging. You know, the, one of the things that, that we try to do, again, really hard, is to help them discover their gifting, right? So God has given them some intentional gifts. And then how those gifts fit into not just vocational ministry, but into their everyday life. So we actually invited them into this, not just for the purpose, again, of church ministry, but of being leaders and influencers in their community, right? Some of these students, a vast majority, if we're honest, they probably won't end up working vocationally in the church, but their primary calling is to be kingdom focused, kingdom minded. And so we want to equip them to do that. We focus intentionally on our spiritual and leadership development. And we have a strategy that kind of leans into that, the way they spend time we actually help them do uh, the shape. You've probably heard of the, the shape where you discover your spiritual gifts. Um, we help them figure that out and then get them aligned with uh, ministry mentors that help them navigate how their shape um, is best utilized in the kingdom and in their community. And so that Monday, they come in, they join us. Okay, time out. Time out. For those that don't know yes, shape, I'm, I'm assuming that we're talking about the purpose driven right. youth ministry yep. stuff, right? So spiritual, uh, spiritual gifts, yep. heart, abilities, and personality, right? right? So shape, yep. right? Shape. Is that what we're talking Absolutely. about? Absolutely. Thanks, Ryan, for clarifying that. I was, I just assume everybody knows what I know, but I'm, a, I'm the old guy now. I got to remember that. I'm the old guy. I know. So, 
I no, don't. Shape. Hey, it's super simple. It's a resource that if you're not using, I would strongly encourage you and invite you just to check it out. It's so good. It's so simple and very easy to use. Um, we we use that not only for our student internships, but we also use that in throughout the entire church. Anybody who wants to join the winning team, that's what we call our volunteer base, our, our ministers. Uh, we have them take shape. We have them go through the shape experience. So um, thanks for asking that question, Ryan. So that Monday, right, they they join us in a uh, a group effort where we sit down with all of our student pastors. We discuss the weekend experience, some of the highs and lows, challenges, opportunities that were, were missed, opportunities that were made, and how we can uh, improve the practice there. We also then prepare them during that time to lead a devotional time the next day, Tuesday morning, globally. Um, and that is assigned by each campus, right? So each campus has a set of interns and each week over the eight week course, each uh, campus is given the opportunity um, to lead the devotion for all of the interns. So whether you're in student ministry, worship ministry, creative, whatever it might be to lead devotion. And so we kind of teach them in that time, hey, here's how you teach. Here's how you share the word of God and make it, you know, palatable and, and, and practical for people in a, in a real way. Um, and so then after that, we then get into a little more intentional leadership development um, where we focus in on just, again, best practices. And so we call those handles at Faith Promise. And so some of the handles we have based on our values, love God, love people, discover purpose and win your world. Um, and so we go through those. We actually have 52 handles and that sounds like a lot. I know that sounds like a lot, but it's super simple, right? I'll give you an example of what that handle might look like. And if anybody's hearing this, my email is out there. You can email. I'd love to share that with you. Um, but this week's uh, handle uh, to the value is that we're owners, right? So we're owners. And what that means is, you know, if you've ever owned a home, if you're a student pastor, maybe you're just uh, beginning your journey. Um, you know that renting and owning feel different, right? There's a sense of obligation when you're an owner. And so the way that that handle shows up in a practical sense is that, hey, I make sure that I, I'm convicted that the experience that other students have, that my peers have, that other people have when they visit our campus is is hospitable that we want people there they feel loved and valued i i make sure the restrooms are clean i make sure I, I look people in their eye i shake their hand i give them a smile a pound whatever it might be um and it's because i'm an owner so we have 52 handles like that and we teach them those things in a with a leadership mindset in a very practical way the 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 next component of it uh and the way that we finish that monday again is with the word of god bro so we literally uh pick a book this this summer it's a the book of ephesians and we just dive back in so we begin with that bible and we end with that bible on that day we just dive back into the word of god teaching them how to uh do word study how to, how to learn uh you know context of what was going on to the original um audience reading uh the writer um, and we just give them the heart behind that. Um, we have some students who will nudge us on the shoulder and say, hey, I have a desire to grow more in apologetics or whatever it is. And so there's some resources that we connect them with. Um, but that's our Monday. Now, when we shift to Tuesday, um, and again, let me just offer this because I will ramble on forever. Anybody who would like to see this on paper, you feel free to email me or even contact Ryan. I would share that. I'd be great, grateful to share that with you, Ryan, so that you can have that to take a look at. Um, but the schedule on Tuesday is now it's a global thing. Again, these are all the interns, right? It's all about the body. As a staff, we meet weekly on Tuesdays and we bring the interns into that. Now, bi-weekly, we have a worship experience with our staff. We have amazing leadership that helps us just process relationally, like, hey, how do we care for each other? How do we care for other people while taking care of ourselves and discovering not only God's purpose for us, but his will in our lives daily? Um, and so we invite them into that space and they get to see how we worship together corporately, um, as well as... Um, Again, just wrestling with hard things, right? The next part of that segment then is we 
um, spend a little bit time uh, discussing like inner ministry relationship, right? Like, hey, how do each uh, ministry work together? And then we kind of let each ministry give a, a, a demonstration or, rep, you know, a, a teaching uh, moment, right? Like, hey, this is how Faith Promise Kids team works. Um, this is how we recruit. This is how we create our, our small, uh, lead small experience um, and things like that. And so that day generally finishes at about 2 p.m., both Monday and Tuesday and at 2, 2 p.m. And then Wednesday starts at 1 p.m. And as a student intern, you go to your campus again um, and you stay with your student team. And this is where we have our one-on-ones or what I would rather call our ones. I think one-on-one sounds a little weird. Um, so we just call it once. And it's a time for each intern to meet with their ministry mentor, their ministry lead. So in my campus, at our campus, it would be me. Um, now there's 12 interns, so there's a lot of one-on-ones. So I'm a little pushed on time. Uh, I would love to spend 45 minutes with them, but realistically right now, it's usually at that 20 minute mark that I'm trying to kind of rotate through. And I'm really just pressing in and doing my best to care for them. How are they doing? You know, is there anything that I can help them understand? Are there any questions? You know, because oftentimes teenagers, will have questions and they're embarrassed to ask those questions. And so this Mm -hmm. is time to give them the opportunity to ask questions, right? And again, Ryan, a lot of times, and and I'm sure you know this, this one-on-one time is really so sacred because it's where the the spiritual parent, right? It's where the mentorship really, really matters, right? Like we're giving information, we're creating spiritual experiences Monday and Tuesday, but this time Wednesday, it's where the relationship is really built. And so we're pressing in, you know, praying with them, learning about them, right? What matters to them? What do they value? You know, one of the things we do right at the beginning of their internship, I say, hey, what's the three things that matter most to you? Write them down and then go ask three people in your life that matter most to you what they believe to be the things that matter most Mm. to you and so in that one-on-one time we'll talk about that like hey what what matters most to you what did your mom say what did your best friend say what did your girlfriend or your boyfriend say there's a lot of self-discovery um when that happens so that one-on-one time really finishes with student night beginning right so they're here we feed them we feed them monday tuesday at lunch and then on wednesday we feed them an early dinner at four o'clock they come in at one they do the ones they hang out spike ball community and then at five o'clock we feed them at four o'clock at five o'clock we start setting up for students and i tell them hey at five o'clock you're now a student you're no longer an intern you're a student but what we love, Ryan, is that even though, you know, the, the, the role or the title might change in that little hour right there, the reality is they all are so good at loving students, even the younger ones, the middle schoolers, that we don't even have to tell them that, man. They're just so engaged with their peers, and it's just created an awesome environment in our church, man. So that's a short snippet. I could keep going. Um, I have so much documentation that I can share with you and I will, I love it. Um, but man, that's it. That's I love it. it. So we're talking about Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, yes, sir. just those yes, three sir. days. So the weekend we are, we are as church. Now we meet exclusively on Sunday. We used to have a Saturday service. Now we have uh, just three services on Sunday um, at our campus, all of our other campuses host two services. And then we have our next steps again, to be on the winning team. You participate everyone in the congregation, um, in next steps, which happens, uh, at five o'clock on Sunday evenings. And so the interns are invited to come to next steps. It's not an expectation. We understand they have family obligations. Um, and they all attend church. Honestly, there's an application to be an intern with us and an interview process, which includes meeting with someone on the executive team. Um, And so that means that they're already demonstrating regular attendance and being part of what God's doing at the church. So they're there. They're usually serving, whether it be on the student weekend team, the student connection team on the weekend, um, or, you know, serving in one of the other ministries. But yeah, the expectation is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So good. Is there a cost for them to be a part of this program? Uh, There is, but I'll be frank, man, you know, God's blessed faith promise uh, with so much. We, we never want to let that hinder anyone's experience. The cost is 75 bucks. um, And again, we have scholarships, you know, we have a 50% scholarship 
Uh, that's actually a great question, Ron. I just want to add this as a snippet, especially, you know, I haven't always worked in a mega church or a big church. Um, I actually have worked in small, a church plant. And early on, one of the things I learned is that when you give student a, a scholarship, especially a 100%, 100% scholarship, it can almost feel like they don't have any skin in the game, right? So we try to challenge them to really come up with, you know, if not, if not 50%, some part of that cost. And we tell them, hey, we're going to feed you three days out of the week. We're, you're going to be at a pool party. You're going to get to do a couple other serve events in the communities. Um, it, it's not about the money. It's about you demonstrating that you're all in on what God has for you. So good. Uh, appreciate this information. Yeah. I want to encourage all you guys. This is probably one of the best ways I know in my ministry uh, to just exponentially in increase the influence that you have with those That's students right. and their influence in your ministry. Right. So I want to encourage you guys to consider it. I know it sounds like a lot of work and it really is, <laughs> but it's probably one of the most fruitful work you'll do all summer Amen. long. So uh, love what you guys are doing and uh, thanks for this conversation and guys we will have uh, more conversations for you here soon. Thanks Ryan.